So what we sought to do at the uh, Smart Geometry Urban Feeds Workshop was to sort of explore this idea of personal data collection um, when we actually enable the participants or the citizens of the city to measure the information that is sometimes seen and not seen around them. Um, we created um, eight of these, uh, what we call ASK kits, ambient sensor kits, um, which actually this is the second version of the kit. And each participant in the workshop got one of these. We determined a specific area in Copenhagen that we would be measuring. Well, basically what we did in Copenhagen is actually to develop a workflow rather than to develop a workshop with a specific output. So we came with the idea of using a specific platform related with other outputs or other tools that will allow us to relay the physical information that is surrounding us with uh, digital information. So this is the ESC. This is a do-it-yourself sensor node. So the base of everything is the Arduino board that you have here. So this is something that you plug a USB cable, you upload your own codes. Uh, we got a micro SD shield that stores what we capture in this micro SD card. And then to these micro SD shields, we connect all of the sensors that we're using. The light sensor here, we have as well the temperature sensor, we have a movement sensor, we have the CO2 sensor, and maybe what makes the difference is the GPS, that is this green rectangle here, and it has the antenna that connects to the satellites. We walk around the street and the kit captures a moment in time of temperature, light, movement and CO2. Um, the idea was to, again, empower the citizen to understand the different uh, flows around them. We created a workflow based on the, on the personal data collection, then uh, by data logging this uh, information, so each participant could, was able to record the data that he was capturing. So it was related to geolocation uh, coordinates with sensor values. Now, this information is usually sort of uh, given to us when we grab it from institutions. Um, and we rely on institutions to be precise, to give us accurate data, clean data, unbiased data. Um, the interesting thing is that as soon as you start working with uh, capturing your own information, you see that all of these issues make information much less objective than it actually seems. And so we wanted to also uh, show this to the participants of the workshop, um, as we're also discovering it ourselves, um, that although numbers, I would say numbers don't lie, um, as soon as we start capturing data, we sort of take on all of these issues of, uh, of bias information, uh, precision, and uh, data cleanliness.
the second tool that we used to share this information was Pachube. Pachube is a kind, it's an open source platform. It's a kind of a Facebook of sensors in which you can actually create feeds of each one of the sensors and actually you could, you could have visualization tools for it. We were able to visualize in real time in Google Earth uh, the values of these sensors, but uh, visualizing it by developing different tools uh, like creating topographies and creating graphs. And, and at the same time, you were having like the hyper realistic tool that is Google Earth with the hyper presence values that were captured with the sensors. The participant developed a physical output that was a display system and this display system should react to the same conditions that they, they were calculating. So if there was a specific point on the city that had um, better conditions, uh, all the display system should change and point to this specific place. population could go to these places and enjoy the better condition. Afterwards, these were represented in a physical model that was reactive to, to the sensor kits. So it was a representation of, of their display system and the lights would change according to the reading of the sensors that were on the room. Yeah. <laughs>